What's up guys, it's me Sean here with some C Sharp tutorial here today. And today we're going to learn how to let users to open a file in your program. So let's get this started. So the first thing we have to do here is we have to create a Windows form application. And let's name it something like open file or anything, okay? So let's make that there and it will take a little while. Okay, so there it is. So what we want to do here is we want to let users to open a file. Okay, so what we have to do is we have to grab a menu strip like what we did in the previous uh, videos, right? And I think it was the first video that I made about C Sharp. But anyway, just put a menu strip there and let's say something like file and then let's give it a open. So when user clicks file and hit open, we have to show a file dialog message or the window, navigation window, where they can choose the file. So if we go file and open, so we have to add a event to this uh, button here, right? So let's double click that spot there. So what will happen is it will generate a method that's related to clicking that specific item so it says when open tool strip menu item is clicked it's going to do something here and what I want to do is I want to open up a file navigation window so we have to create a object called open file dialog okay and let's name it something like FD1 okay and let's initialize this so new open file dialog parentheses semicolon wow I like this uh, uh, real-time error checking thing but yeah and what we want to do is we want to create a string value and let's call it something like uh, name okay name and then let's make it empty string there and what we want to do is we want to store whenever we open a file we want to store that name into this uh, name string there let's name it F name okay so yeah anyway so after that we're going to create a if statement why because I want to do something if file opening was success so let's say something like if FD1 dot show dialog so what this method does is when you write this method here what it's going to do is it's going to open a file navigation window or f um, the open file dialog box okay and after that if everything went great it should return a uh, okay result right so we have to check by setting is it equal to dialog result dot okay then if it's true if it's going to return a true if it's false it's going to return a false so uh, let's write some code inside of this if so inside of this if structure I want to name f name equal to fd1's file name so if user successfully choose that file, it's going to store that file name into F name. Okay. And after that, how do we know if it actually worked? We can actually visualize this by setting message box. Message box dot show. And we're going to show a F name. So we're going to show F name to see if it works and semicolon. So let's test this out by clicking start. And if we wait a little bit here. And there it is. So when user click file and open, it's going to open up a file navigation window. So that's awesome. So what user can do is they can go through desktop or whatever the directory and then choose a file. And if they get it right, it's going to show the file name. And the file name gives us all the path 
that where that file located. So if in this example it's in C, users show on desktop example.txt. But the problem with this file open thing is that they can open any kind of file, no matter what it is. So they can open mp3 file if they want to, they can open picture file if they want to, but we don't want them to do everything like that. Let's say you're making a program where you have to let them open a specific type of file. That's where this tool comes in handy. Okay, So after creating a FD1 object, we're going to set a filter to that FD1. So let's say something like FD1.filter, so filter, equals, uh, let's say something like text file only and a uh, pipe pipe symbol is right located right above your enter key usually and the pipe symbol and then we're going to do star dot txt file so what it means is we're going to restrict our file dialog into this filtered areas so now user only can open a .txt file. So let's test this out. So if they if they go into file open now, guess what? It says text file only and all they can choose is the text documents. There's no mp3 file or anything like that. So yeah, that's how you use a open file dialog in your program. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you liked, please hit like and subscribe for more tutorials. And if you have any other questions, please leave questions on the comment below. And I'll see you guys next time. Thanks.